Good morning, Cornerstone. Uh, for today's inspirational vitamin, just wanted to follow up a little bit on uh, one point from yesterday's sermon. Uh, at the beginning of the sermon, I talked about joy and how um, Clemson football coach Dabo Sweeney had basically explained joy as an acronym, J-O-Y, as in the way you the way you can find true joy is when your priorities are in this order, Jesus, others, you, right? J-O-Y, putting Jesus first, then others, then yourself. And so I thought that was a really, really cool acronym, and particularly given that our word for this month that we're focusing on is rejoice. Um, I thought I'd talk about that a little bit further. I showed how you could sort of see that pattern in Philippians 4, uh, 4 through 7, where Paul talks about rejoicing the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice, let your graciousness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. And he goes on to talk about presenting our request to God with thanksgiving um, and how God, um, the peace of Christ will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Um, but I also think that an even better passage that sort of reflects this idea of the Jesus others you is over in Mark chapter 12, when Jesus was asked about which command is the most important. And in Mark 12, verse 29, Jesus says, it says, Jesus answered, the most important is, listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other command greater than these. And so, you know, it starts off and Jesus is saying, you know, the most important thing we can do is to love God with our everything. Love God with your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Again, that would be putting Jesus first. Then it says, love your neighbor as yourself, right? So love your neighbor, that will be putting others, and then as one loves oneself. So, you know, I think just for today's inspirational vitamin, I'd love for you to focus on this idea of what does it mean to love God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength? What does it mean to love my neighbor as myself? Um, I think it does also imply in that uh, scripture that one loves self, right? And so, um, you know, um, we do have to have you know, I think an understanding that we're made in the image of God and, you know, who God created us to be is a beautiful person. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have things to change. That doesn't mean there aren't things that need to be repented of or sub submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. But, you know, I, I want us to understand we do need to love Jesus, love others and love self. So that's your inspirational vitamin for the day. Please reflect on that and have a great week, Cornerstone. Love y'all.